Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm recording a video uh, about a rescue case right now and this patient presented from out of town uh, with an implant abutment. It is an angled abutment um, as well as a cemented crown. You can see both are in this uh, autoclavable bag. So they're both sterile. They're coming in with the patient. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it up and identify and confirm the identification of the implant system. So over the phone and via the email, the patient was able to uh, give me the information uh, from the, the dentist that placed the, uh, the implants. Uh, and so this is a certain uh, abutment, that's the name of the abutment, uh, angled abutment from Biomed 3i. Within the abutment is the fractured screw. It's a gold tight screw. Um, all the other implants in the mouth are doing just fine. This one just happens to have a fractured screw. So patient uh, saw my video on the internet and now they want uh, to have me uh, go ahead and, and retrieve the broken fragment. So visualization is important. I'm looking right now and checking the, uh, the uh, external aspect of the hex. That is a six-walled hex. And there are a couple little small dings. You can see the little dents uh, on there. I'll polish a little bit of those, but not much. There's the broken end of the screw. You can see the fragment end uh, where the separation occurred and the thread that kind of looks like a little leaf that's coming off of that. So I have to pay close attention so when I go in the mouth, I'll be able to see uh, the other part. Um, right now, we're looking at these parts to get real familiar. So I'm going to push it through with the periodontal probe and there's our gold screw. It's gold covered and the reason why they gold cover them is to increase the the amount of strength you know in the thread so that uh, when it does uh, tighten down it develops a, a certain amount of, of resistance you know to, to dislodging. We don't really know why the screw fractured in this case. could have been the load from the bite. It could have been from the tightening. It could have been a number of things. So we know that there's um, a crown with it. If it's properly with that abutment, there is some s cement that's inside. We're going to clean out all that is tampon cement. And, um, and so that goes into a temporary cement cleaner remover for about 10 minutes in a bag and then we'll have it all cleaned up and ready to put back in. Some other things to keep in mind, um, the angulation issues, you know, you have crowns sometimes go in different orders in the mouth and we hope that this one is straightforward and without uh, any path of insertion problems. So things to look at. Now, <coughs> in the mouth, um, oh by the way, uh, Florence and Brent from 3i, they're terrific people. They've given me the preliminary instruction of what to do. There's a strict protocol by the company, and we will follow that to the T. Uh, patient is aware now that uh, the tissue has actually grown over the um, fixture of the implant body in the mouth. We're just looking right now to check to see uh, relationships between right and left sides of the mouth proportionals and here we are and so keep in mind uh, we're going to have to gain access through the tissue through the soft tissue and even very careful to identify the exact position of where the implant is conser conserving not only the soft tissue um, width but also the papilla that adjoin the adjacent teeth so blood supply is important keeping everything um, uh, conservative so let's pick this up on the next video I appreciate you watching and uh, we'll probably have about a series of three or four videos for this case Dr. Cuomo see you on the